to my channel. If you are new to the channel, my name's Gemma and I'm losing weight following a calorie control diet. Today is Wednesday, the 30th of November. It's a work from home day. I work nine while five. I will show you everything that I eat for my calories t tonight. It's not going to be very exciting. Steve's going to bring us something back, either a chip shop or a McDonald's. Um, we haven't got much in, but I am going to get some food today. It is payday today, so I've just been hanging on a little bit. <laughs> um, oh, it's how dark it is. It's freezing. Oh, that's not helping at all. Just makes me look haggard. Um, I've just been out with Bonnie. Just done a few steps. She can't walk very far now. Um, but we did about 1,200 steps. But she enjoyed herself, didn't you, Bonnie Boo? She's deaf. She liked that walk. Yeah. Oh. An old lady, aren't you? Just sleeps all day. Yes, you do. Um, so, I'm going to get some breakfast now. I fancy just some toast. Partly because I ain't got any cereal. So, I've got bacon. But I don't fancy it. So, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So, breakfast is 307 calories. I've got two slices of thick ovis. I've got a little bit of, um, I can't believe it's not butter on. And then I've got 25 grams of Morrison's salmon paste. Snack time, having this for 137 calories. Dinner is a tuna mayo sandwich for 339 calories. I've not got any butter on it and I've got it on um, a wholemeal roll. But this is tea for 657 calories. So I'm back in from the gym. I only ended up doing one class. I didn't do Shabam. Shabam, if you want to know, because I did notice one of the comments uh, mentioning it. It's like it's like an aerobics with a bit of dancing. And yeah, I'm not a good dancer. My hips don't move that like that. So I was dreading it. But it were at six o'clock. And because I finished work at five and Steve bought us McDonald's, it would have been a bit rushy so i just did the seven o'clock class which was pump so it was toning so i'm not too sweaty now i might get away with wearing these tomorrow actually because i haven't sweated so um i enjoyed it still burnt 270 calories but it was all toning so working on my muscles and yeah felt good felt really good <coughs> so burnt about 270 calories <coughs> i'm gonna finish the day with this I'll have to put calories up on screen, 200, 200, 190 something. And if you look on app, there's like three weights for them and it was none of them. I had to type it in myself. So like 33 points of that. Um, and I am in a deficit today. So hopefully I'll pull it back from the last few days. Um, I'm hoping to have a really good couple of days, the next two days, because I've got some good gym classes booked in. The only thing is, it is the first of the month, which in financial, I've heard this every month, it is super busy. But do you know what? Let's just get day done, get everything done that I need to, and get to the gym tomorrow night. Uh, oh, let me just tell. Why does my fridge look like it's enough? Let me just tell you. Because I'm, I haven't got time to, we've got so much coming up and, and going on that. I just haven't got time to sit and plan loads of meals um, coming up to Christmas. And I feel like this week I've turned to convenience. So, um, HelloFresh, I've emailed two weeks at 25% off, which is nothing to do with me doing YouTube. But it's I think they'll do it with all the customers. Um, so, we've taken up that offer. So, we've got, we've got it coming Monday. So, we'll have HelloFreshers from Monday. And then I've got a week without because Steve's away in France. So, and I've got my work meal that week. And then the week before Christmas, I've got HelloFresh again. So I'm hoping that it helps me stay on plan, not turn to fast food. And um, yeah, keep me focused coming up to Christmas. Because if not, if I'm left to my own devices, I know it's going to be convenience. And I don't want it to be. Every year you get into Christmas mode and just want to eat crap all the time. 
So at least I know I've got their meals and I don't have to think about that. You have that much to think about at Christmas. I don't want to be thinking about food and eating healthy. I know that they're nice, fresh, healthy meals that I've got recipes for. So try to pick ones that I've ordered before as well. The ones that I know I like and that we've cooked before so it's not too stressful. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So obviously we're away for the weekend this weekend. The kids are staying with Marie. So I don't need to think about the weekend because we're going to be out for meals, which I'm looking forward to. Um, so there's only t tomorrow night and Friday night. Friday night, I don't know what we're having, but I have got, I've got chicken and chicken, chopped chicken. <laughs> I've got cod and then I've got like frozen bits of fish. Like I've got, what have I got? I've got one tempura bassa, one salt and pepper cod and one Aldi fish thingy, swear. But tomorrow I went into Tesco's and these were on offer. Yummy, scrummy. Now, since liking pizzas, which has only been a few months, it was summertime, weren't it? I can safely say this has been my favourite pizza. Now, I've never been to Pizza Express. We were going to go, but Alex worked very well. But because I like this so much, I mean, they're a five or four price, which is shocking. I think this was 2 75 But if you're looking, like, for fast food, you pay that, don't you? So, um, yeah, so it's got spicy beef, green peppers, red onion, creamy mozzarella, passata on the base. And it's just delicious. And bonus for offer, it's only 328 calories, so quick math, 656 for the full pizza, which I don't think is bad for a full pizza at all. Um, but I may have half because I've got some tender stem broccoli, I've got some, um, I bought some of the McCain's lighter chips. I can't remember what they're like, I don't know if they're much cold, but um, I'm thinking of an handful of chips, some broccoli, and maybe mushrooms and half a pizza. Or just a full pizza. I don't know. I'm going to sit now in bed. I'm going to plot it all in. I'm going to hopefully finish my book that I bought when we were in Edinburgh. It was good to start off with, but it's got a bit slow. But yeah, I'm looking forward to starting a new book. Um, look at the recipe books to find something to cook with a chicken, preferably with something I've got in. Now, if you're all really good with chicken, let's let's discuss this now. So, I've got chicken, I've got onions, I've got cauliflower, I've got two tins of chopped tomatoes, I have got pasta, lasagna sheets, rice, a few potatoes, I've got beans, I've got wraps. Um, shallots, baby carrots, cheese, mushrooms, kale. So, you've got your list. I need some suggestions for what to do Friday night now. Um, I had, oh no, they were out day. I, would, I had some cup of soups. I was thinking I could do like um, a stew with cup of soups, but no, they were out of date. And then I had a look to see if we've got any soup, and the only soup I've got is tomato soup, so I don't think it'd be nice with that. Could just do a stock stew, I suppose, but I ain't really got... Hey, I wonder what... I'm just thinking about what I've got from JD Seasonings. Didn't think of that. Oh, I've got a chicken rub. Excuse me, messy house. Maybe, maybe. Chicken. Shall we have a look? Oh, we've got spaghetti and meatballs. So I've got chicken rub, which I use that in summer for um, what do you call them? For me, um, oh, what am I talking about? <laughs> Barbecues. Oh, gyros kebab. So I think you'll need loads of stuff for that. Yeah, three large chicken breasts, two large potatoes, an iceberg lettuce, two tomatoes, 
cucumber. Potentially could use that though. Spanish chicken. Spanish chicken, Mediterranean. I don't know if I've had this one before. So you add tin tomatoes, vegetable stock. Well, I've got all that. Red pepper. Mm, I ain't got red pepper. Worcester sauce. Yep, got that. Chicken breast, got that. And serve with right. Oh, that's potential. I'm going to keep that one out on the side. You are a potential, Mr. Spanish chicken. Don't know why it's a Mr. Tacos. Cajun. Too spicy for the kids. Lamb bolognese, Chinese chicken chow mein. What would you put in that? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, that needs loads of ingredients. No, maybe Spanish chicken. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. We'll put rest away. So if you don't have any suggestions, you know what type of food I like. Maybe something to like, like a lot of, yeah. I could put something in a slow cooker. Maybe, so, oh, I've got barbecue sauce. Could do like some pulled barbecue chicken. What would you say that way? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go up and have a look at my recipes. Eat my whisper. Get chilled out. And I will catch you tomorrow. But I feel good for going to that class because I'll tell you what, we're on verge cancelling that one as well. I saw it's cold. Had a busy day at work. Shall I just stay at home with Steve and kids? But I am so glad that I pushed myself, even though it was just one class. But I enjoyed it and it was good atmosphere. And bonus that I'm not too sweaty. So I'll be a sweaty mess tomorrow because it's combat and pump again. But pump is the one. It is the one that tones everything. It's really, really good. And if you don't like cardio, if you don't get, like getting out of breath, it is the perfect class. So, I'm going to catch up with you tomorrow. Drop me your recipes below. And I, um, hopefully, I'm going to have a really good rest of the week. I'm going to check out where I am deficit-wise to see whether I think I'm going to have a maintain or a loss. I'm hoping for a loss. It'd be good to um, to get to where I want to be for Christmas. It's just it is so hard, isn't it? All these little snacks are sneaking in, and you kind of get that mentality that it's Christmas and you can do what you want. But it's so easy to put weight on. I put eleven pound on on an holiday. It's so easy to do. What we're at a ten day holiday, so that's a pound a day, and it were easy done. I didn't feel like I overate, but I clearly did. Anyways, we can do it. We can smash it. We can be skinny minis. We've still got time. So I'll catch up with you soon. Bye.